Everyone should try to do this uh, last two centers order, and I'll show you what I mean. So, let's say this this only applies to like six by six, seven by seven, and other big cubes, but mostly six by six and seven by seven because those are the cubes that most people would speed solve. So, let's do last two centers. So. There's a specific order that you should do that's much faster. Uh, if you don't do a specific order, so like let's say you do like centers first, okay? And then you do whatever, uh, whichever is quicker, and then you just, and then you do like some centers. And then you're gonna end up like, yeah, you're gonna have to do so many edges, and you're gonna have to keep doing this. Go ahead, keep doing this, whatever. Uh, there is a specific order that you can that can prevent you from doing that so many times. And I'm going to show you how to do it. If I can scramble this correctly and better, that is not a good scramble. Also not a good scramble. Wow, what the heck? Oh, whatever. I'll just leave it like that. So we have 6x6 six six and 7x7. Seven seven. I'll start with 6x6 six six first. So they're, they're pretty much the same uh, concept. Uh, you just keep making a strip and then you just solve your last two centers just like that. So in this case, this is. So red belongs here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and make my first uh, red strip. So I see I can just insert like that. That's my first red strip. Do not get distracted with any blocks that you see. Don't get distracted. That's one of the practices that you have to do is just don't get distracted by, oh, uh, I see what, let's say, for example, um, like that, okay? Do not, don't do that. You're gonna regret it, okay? Because now it's going to be harder for you to make centers, so do not get distracted. Okay, so here I see. You. So you, you're just going to have to like ignore it and then do it in order, always in this order. Okay, here don't get distracted by this block. You're going to have to go ahead and make your line. Okay, as you can see, this can also happen as well which is also very common. You just solve your last two centers just like that. So that's something that it's it's faster, much better, and uh, it would definitely help you. So, and I, I think that everyone who, who wants to speed solve in big cubes should solve their last two centers just like this, okay? Now let's go do it in a seven by seven perspective. Okay, here I see this, so this could be my first strip. All right, cool. And the way to make this strip here is is to make a three by three by one from here. Okay, so I could just go like that, and I see this is already solved in. So I could just I just need this, and it's right here. I can go ahead, go like that, place that in there, and now I just need this. So I would need a bar like that. Okay, now you would have to insert it like this, but that's okay. You could actually go like this and ignore the center and you'll see what I mean. So here we have this and here you could just insert it like that. And now that you have your line, the centers, you don't have to worry about it because you can go, you can go like this. You see? So that also takes a lot of practice. Okay, then here you make Oops, right here. There you go, like that. And then you put this here. I'm gonna take this so that I can put it in here. Like that. And then I can go ahead and insert that pair. Oops, I moved my tripod. Okay. And then you're here. See, in this case, you're, you're down to uh, the least amount of edges. In fact, I could only do this one time because I could actually 
uh, swap this to here by doing this. And then I can go ahead, uh, insert, or you can go like this. I don't know if that works, but I don't know how I would, how I would not uh, do the edge thingamajig, but I would just take it anyways, because I don't want to do anything awkward. So just insert the corner. And you can only have to do one or two edges only, not too many. So this would be much better. Uh, again, it, it's going to take a lot, a lot of practice because you have to avoid getting distractions and as well as uh, just kind of like you're, you're going to have to mess around a lot to know how to do this, how to do that. Okay, especially the centers part. Okay, so. That's last two centers. Uh, definitely give it a try and see if you uh, if you're more comfortable with doing that. Definitely would make you faster because you don't have to do these mini edges too many times. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this is helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.